gotta give it everything you have. All right, guys, um, <clears throat> this is the following day. I'm almost done, not quite yet, actually. Um, just, I was working on the weapon, and I just kind of had an idea. Um, this sniper um, that I have somewhat filed down a bit and stuff is, how to say, it's a little underwhelming <laughs> so pretty much what I would like to do is I have a barrel here I'm not gonna do too many modifications to this but um, but I think the simplest and easiest way that I can think of is for me to cut off this piece right here and cut right here and here as well as cut off the pieces on this other end of the barrel right here and here basically cut that off that way I can use the uh, the muzzle and then I can use this area um, that's you know not you know not completely cut off so I can kind of reattach it to the stock of the of the sniper rifle and basically what I want to do is I'll probably take some runner like a long, nice longer piece like this. Well, I guess in this case, two longer pieces like this. Um, and uh, what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to have like a, a striped, kind of like a outer barrel rifled pattern on it, where it'll just kind of have these like lines going through it. So I'll probably take a Dremel or uh, a tool, something like this that I can attach a head to and just kind of uh, carve out small little uh, like a rifling pattern onto the the outer barrel of the rifle and then reattach it to the um, reattach it to the muzzle and the the part of it that attaches to the, the stock of the rifle so um, hopefully that'll work out and uh, I'm probably gonna get started on that soon we're gonna actually do this <laughs> uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these pieces off right uh, right here at the base. So I put that piece off right here. I went through with it, and there's no turning back now. <laughs> and another piece right here. I have the attachment part that will attach to the stock of the sniper. Uh, rifle and I have the muzzle and we're just gonna basically use it just as is I don't see why we can't um, I want the cleanest piece of runner that I can find which would probably be yeah I think right here only one piece right in the middle only one piece right in the middle here so I'll probably use this piece and cut it right there so I'll just cut that piece off real quick um, Okay. And there's, yeah, there's like a stripe of, uh, of plastic, some, not flash, but just something from the molding process that's in there. So, um, let me just clean this up really quick and then, uh, and we'll take it from there. All right, <clears throat> so we have our barrel, outer barrel that's done here. There's a small piece of bleh, crap in there, but uh, we, can, we can get rid of that with some putty. Right, so yeah, this is a four-sided, uh, simple file. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make, make it as, uh, evenly angled as I possibly can uh, so I don't uh, end up with messed up angles.
Hey folks, um, I've uh, just finished uh, sanding down this uh, this piece right here and uh, measured twice, cut once, uh, still a little bit messed up here, but whatever, you know, <laughs> did the best I could do. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's about, it's about as uh, good as I can get it at the moment. I am just like kind of finishing up sanding uh, the rough edges down a little bit still. Um, but yeah, I mean, you get the idea. So that's what I got now. Now, pretty much all that's left is to reattach this back to the end of the muzzle. Right. Um, so I gotta send that down, make it flush, and uh, and then we're in business. So. Alright. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> just for those of you who don't know what modeling cement does, basically what it does is it melts the plastic. It does. It is not an adhesive. Okay. So it's not like glue where it hardens and then it'll stick to you know two pieces together no this is actually an agent that will actually melt the plastic and essentially it's basically basically welding for plastic that's that's pretty much what this is so um you can use super glue if you want um i prefer not to because um number one um i hate like when you accidentally get it on your fingers, it pisses you off. <laughs> uh, and number two, frosting. Um, even with, even if you stick a fan out and stuff like that, as it dries, it will frost and leave like a foggy white residue on whatever you're gluing. So I typically use this. And uh, please be careful not to use this on uh, anything that you have already painted because it will take the paint off. Uh, just the fumes from this will alone uh, take off any uh, any any paint that you put onto something. So please be careful. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some cement to this, and uh, hopefully it will stick with no problems. And just a little bit goes a long way. But uh, yeah, you gotta let the plastic melt a little bit. Um, and then, uh, and then you just kind of gotta really, really uh, let it um, let it stick, and you gotta push down really hard in order to make the plastic kind of melt together with each other. So, um, yeah. Day. I'm gonna have to push in a bit hard, and then uh, as as it cures, essentially the plastic will just kind of dry uh, and harden and just become kind of normal plastic again. So that's what we got here. Um, I've glued it. Um, I still gotta sand this down a little bit to make it a little bit nicer, but. Uh, that's pretty much what we got as far as the muzzle goes. So uh, I'm just gonna glue on this other piece to the uh, the bottom rung of this, and then uh, and then we're in business. All right, folks, I'm pretty much done. Um, got all my armor parts, uh, some frame arm pieces there, and uh, you know, the, uh, the bullpup rifle here. 
Um, I still have yet to finish up the sniper rifle because I'm waiting for the cement to cure. So I'm kind of waiting for the plastic to harden before I can make any uh, further modifications to that. So I'm going to get started with sticking all of these pieces onto um, alligator clips. Um, I haven't finished all. Um, I haven't finished every single like piece per se, but um, but yeah, I'm pretty much gonna cover all of the uh, the armor pieces and uh, little bits and bobs of the frame, and that's pretty much it. So um, I'm gonna pretty much get started on that, and, uh, and then we'll continue on from there. So um, anyway, step one snap and take away take apart all the pieces step two uh you're gonna go on to uh you know uh prepping yourself for uh the painting process and or modification um so yeah um i'm just gonna finish up sanding some of these pieces and then we're gonna get going okay 